wiggity wiggity what's up youtube to the whole raptor pack it's your boy jay brand here just bringing you another little video commentary today about the call of duty ghosts and the pre-order bonus and the smgs today i'm going to be you're going to be seeing gameplay where i try to experiment with the create a highlight reel didn't really like it too much but since i wasted an hour or so just messing around with it i gonna put it here hopefully you guys like it if not hopefully you like the information i bring you so when you're buying Call of Duty Ghost here in the, in, the, in the next few weeks, next month, if you pre-order it before it's sold out or whatnot, you're going to get a bonus map, which is Free Fall, which is a moving map where it's just moving the whole time that, you, that you're actually playing the game, which is kind of sick because, you know, it's going to cause a lot of unsettled deaths, which is going to cause a lot of people to rage, but it seems like it's going to be fun because it's going to be something new. And then it is in previous games, I guess, like in uh, Battlefield or Halo or so, some crazy stuff like that from what I've heard and read in forums and seen in other videos. But anyways, another key feature, you have to buy this game from uh, GameStop to get a double XP for three days of the day of launch. For three days after, you're going to be getting double XP, which is pretty cool. And you're getting a free character ghost like skin or... A free character that you can customize says you get uh, between uh, eight to ten soldiers that you can customize and play with almost like uh, Borderlands but you you know you don't get to pick what type of person is like a you know tactical uh, like a destroyer stuff like that you don't you don't get to choose that and then uh, to, also we're gonna be talking about the SMGs there's there's a uh, six or seven SMGs total I'm pretty sure one of them is the MTAR X which is actually getting declassified from assault rifle down to a SMG looks pretty good but from what I've read and researched on it it is it has a bit of recoil the damage is all right but the highest damage and rate of fire like uh, penetration is going to be the vector and I didn't use the vector much in black ops 2 because I don't know it didn't seem like a really good gun it shot fast the accuracy was pretty hard to I, I, for me it was kind of hard to get down and it didn't do a lot of damage but in this game Call of Duty Ghost the vector is supposed to be the highest rate of damage and uh, the recoil is similar to that of the AK from Black Ops 1 it goes up and down not you know like all over the place and then there is a K7 SMG with a, it's either going to be a full-time built-in suppressor or maybe hopefully a detached where you could just hit the left on the directional pad or something like that to take the suppressor off maybe to get some more distance on it we'll know a little bit more about that when the game comes out and then there is the Bison PP19 which is almost similar to the PP90 of Modern Warfare 3 which was a, a, a really good gun especially with like the steady aim which is equivalent to the laser from black ops 2 and then there is the vepper or how, however anybody wants to call it which is an assault rifle converted to a smg and from what i read it's almost like a smaller version of an assault rifle but i guess we're all gonna have to wait and see until this game comes out to actually see how they feel and how they play and then we'll all have our views and our points and our favorite guns that we like to use because I'm really never the person who uses the gun that everybody uses like people use the M818 and the MSMC I don't use those guns I use them here and there but it's not my most dominant gun anyways you guys those are the SMGs and what you get for buying the game early if you enjoyed hit a like it's your boy from Jay Brandon Raptor Nation and I'm out peace Roar.